No matter how many stones you already have on the board, you might have this dark thought looming at the back of your mind. What happens if my opponent surrounds and captures them? Well, there's a way to fix this for good. Let's try some experiments. Here's a group of white stones that curls around and has one point of territory inside of it. Now, let's try to play a black stone inside and see what happens. Wait, what? What happened? Let's try this again. What's going on? Well, the thing is that if you play a stone inside, it immediately doesn't have any liberties. It means that it has to be captured right away. And that means that this is an illegal move in the game of Go. You can't make a suicide move like this. And that means that this point inside makes this white group considerably stronger. How much stronger? Let's see what happens if black surrounds this group and takes its outside liberties away. There are a lot more black stones around now. The white group only has two liberties left. So let's see what happens if black plays in the middle now. Nope, it's still the same thing. It's still an illegal move to make. But let's add one final stone on the outside. What about now? If black plays a stone in the middle, what's going to happen? What do you think? The white stones only have one inside liberty left. That means that the white stones are in Atari right now. And now, and only now, if black is going to play inside, black will capture all of these white stones. So this point inside the group that we call an I, by the way, makes a group decidedly stronger, but not invincible. It can still be captured. But let's continue the experiment. Let's make this eye a little larger, like this. So does it mean that this white group is even stronger? Let's see. The white group with the larger eye surrounded again, and now if black plays in the middle, white can capture the stone. And this brings us back to our first position. This is still a group with an eye, and for the very next move, black can play a stone inside, and all of the white stones are still captured. We have to do better than that. We have to make white even stronger. How about this? This white group has not one, but two eyes inside of it. Playing here is still an illegal move for black, and so is playing here. Is anything gonna change if black surrounds this group? And the answer is no. If black wants to try and capture this group, black needs to play one move here and another move here at the same time. But black can't do that because black is only allowed to play one move at a time. This white group has now become an impenetrable fortress and black can never do anything about it. A group with two eyes inside is alive. And these two eyes that make a group invincible can come in many different shapes and sizes. They can look like this on the edge, or like this in the corner, or a very different kind in the corner. It can look like this as well, and this group in the center is also alive. But in the end, it's always two separate points that your opponent can never fill. But remember that two eyes is only a concept. You don't have to make them in every game all the time. Only when your stones are in danger and you have to save them. And before we finish the lesson, let me ask you one last thing. How about this group? It looks almost the same, and yet, can white capture these black stones? And this was a trick question. At the beginning I told you that stones are connected in groups along the lines, and these stones are not fully connected. If we replace this white stone with a black stone like this, now all of the black stones are connected, and this is one black group with two eyes inside. It's alive and it can be captured. But if there's a white stone here, then we actually have three separate black stones, another black stone, and three more black stones. And if you look even closer, you'll see that these stones are in Atari, and so are those three. So white can play here or here and capture all of these stones. But wait a second, these black stones don't have a single eye there, and they can't really escape out of here. And that means that we don't have to spend any more moves capturing them. They are already prisoners. This was the magic of two eyes with only a one stone difference. And in the next lesson, I will show you a finished game of Go. And as always, go smash that like button, leave comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the next videos.